Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Marielle. We are on the 15 and a rest stop right now on our way to Idaho Falls, Idaho. Um, I was supposed to spend two nights over in Butte, Montana. However, the recent snowstorms in the area <laughs> essentially told everyone to get out of Montana and had either due east, due west, or south. So, didn't spend as much time in Butte, Montana as I wanted to. Uh, the map, and along with that, they give you a souvenir snake here at Snake River. Isn't that cute? Right, we are over at Snake River RV Park in Idaho Falls, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I don't remember. We're somewhere in Idaho. It's a cute little park. There's a playground for children. Uh, and beyond that is the um, is the check-in, and with a little market that they have. There is a outback, maybe one-eighth of a mile that way so that's where I'm gonna go for dinner later tonight in the meantime we're gonna check out the bathroom and laundry facility okay so the grounds themselves is this pebbly stuff they need to add a little bit more because where I'm at is a mud puddle don't care for that so there's a divot over here. They just need to add more of the rock things. But the site itself is leveled, left and right, which I absolutely love. Don't have to level it, it was just, it's just leveled. It's wonderful. I like parks like this. So it's a fairly big park. Okay, where I'm at, this aisle, there is no sewer. So if you want sewer pull through, you're going to have to ask for this section, which has pull throughs. And look how big the spaces are. Look at this green belt between the rigs. It's really big. Well, the ones with the sewer is not as large. But you know what? It's overnight. So, oh, it's water, 50 amps. 30 amps and 20 amps. Supposedly this is the building with the laundry room and restrooms. Wow, it goes further back. Look at that. Again, they do a good job with the green belt. I like that. $1.25 for washer. That's not bad. $1.50 for dryer. Okay, the showers are moderately clean. I can do a little bit better job cleaning the bathrooms. Okay, here's the office, and I love the sign on the door. This is fabulous. You got propane over here, and it looks like a sewer dump. right off the entrance and they got laundry room over here oh this is a bigger laundry room wow okay it's a bigger laundry room over here Bigger mat room. And the showers are a lot cleaner over here on this side. The pool is closed, but they do have a hot tub that is open, and there's no one in there right now. Ooh, I'm walking down the wrong aisle. Okay, we need to go back. <laughs> back. 
Okay, we got a 30-foot Airstream over here with some panel damage. Really a shame. Oh, we got another Airstream. This one's an international. I wonder how long this one is. Looks like a baby one. 25 foot. Okay, they provide water and electric for a lot of the sites. However, you gotta make sure if you want sewer, you gotta request for it. Not every site here has sewer. And look at this big, well, this site 23. I'm site 24, but then there's a big lawn area here. And it's a good size lawn area. And again, the site is level, which is a good thing. Always a good thing. And the thing that's really nice also, that I haven't even noticed until now, is that there's no garbage. There is no trash anywhere. Just dandelions, a couple of weeds in the grass. But there is no trash. When it's not around you, you don't notice it. It's wonderful. But I'm noticing it only because I'm observing this. There's no trash. This is really nice. So, do we like this park? Oh, definitely. We will stay here again on our way back to Glacier. I like this. This is really nice.